Hello, trading is closed on September 16th, 2021. Our disclaimer always begins the proceedings. It's my trading plan for tomorrow, September 17th, 2021. And I can be completely wrong, so all any and all trades should be at your own risk. Let's go over our predictions. Look for lower prices. We certainly got them. So we have the pattern with the early high. This is it. Tomorrow should have the early low. So review of what we said should see lower prices. Let's go over the MeJT stuff. We got a sell signal early in the day that certainly has played out this drop was called false by the system the rally's called false by the system gives us a prediction of 4461.62 most likely before tomorrow closes notice how the 50 day moving average is right here it's held support for a number of times but if it breaks um could break in grand style it hasn't broken yet this was the count we had but of course it's not the only count it's the one from yesterday it might still be right if it is this could be an A and this could be a B, and I'd expect to wave C down. Might be some other way to count it. B might go, magenta B might go higher, you don't know. But that's not the only count. This is a 15 minute chart. You can count this as an A, B, C. C is pretty much equal to A started to drop right from there the internals work macd has big divergence at this re-challenge rsi has big divergence for users of standard technical analysis that's lessening that's a a lessening of um strength on the challenge of the old high and once again, an all-day rally couldn't beat yesterday's high. None of this is good stuff. It can all change tomorrow. We can gap, take this high out, take this high out, kill the pattern. But if we don't take this out early, I would expect to see 44.61.62. And furthermore, I think it would increase the chances of a strong down day and a day which is usually positive. And if we start out weak, which obviously hasn't happened yet, if we start out weak, it's going to be tough to turn things around with the last wave count we showed. An early weakness, if it occurs tomorrow, in which the MJT target makes likely to occur tomorrow, I think is a good chance it would extend through Monday and maybe beyond. So if you're a bull, you really want to undo the damage done by this challenge of the high today by taking it out early. Tomorrow's pattern has the early low. We could still gap up. Typically, it's a rally day with a final lower high. Early weakness turns the tables. More weakness should come in extended subsequent days. There's a lower target. Unless we gap up smartly, it should print. Once again, we rallied all day, stopped short of the prior day's high. Bulls can still save the day if they rally early, but if they don't, it increases confidence that lower target will print. Early weakness tomorrow, if it happens, it's going to be hard to reverse and probably will follow through in grand style on Monday. Um, if you're a bear, you've got everything you want. For a big drop starting now, and all that you need is for it to happen. It can still be invalidated, but the setup is certainly there. So we'll have to see what happens at tomorrow's open. 
And that's today's call.